with this. You're going to see this in, in future testimony. But Azrael knows where everything is. When I say the tape, she knows who's who. She knows where the bank accounts are, where the money is. She knows who's who's using who. I've not seen what we've been trying to show you that you've been brainwashed. But once she watched that documentary and she read the emails that I sent over to her, uh, that he was sending to Joycelyn, telling Joycelyn the same things that he told her. He's um, hiding other tapes for Azrael, just like uh, London on the Tracks mom was doing. Cheryl, I forgot her last name, Cheryl Mack or whatever. Um, and so I'm trying to tell you without telling you too much, because like I said, this is a federal case. And I've even helped out uh, the feds with all the information that I've been given. So I was working with the uh, department. Was it the department of state? Uh, Homeland security. One of them damn please. Homeland security. My lawyers were uh, to hand them over everything uh, that we had received. I find it very interesting how some of these people telling these stories like to skip around certain facts, including how certain individuals violated some of these so-called accusers rights corrupted this man's defense and put all this propaganda on social media just to come back talking about they were right about the hearsay that they put out. They'll always leave out how a person like me was able to easily track down the origins to some of these stories they put out, which is why I never ran with none of this bullshit, this so-called Kale sector came to the internet to keep you distracted with when they don't want to acknowledge the corruption we saw playing out and how some of these people felt it was okay for them to coerce and manipulate federal witnesses in order to secure a janky ass conviction. Now, if you check out my community board, you will recognize that I pointed out several times why I've never personally invested time into engaging with grown men, specifically because I realized he was nothing more than Angelo's mouthpiece. Therefore, all these janky ass people sending me this man's personal information, including his wife's information, then coming to YouTube and displaying the type of behavior that I point out to you that showed me how all these individuals are connected. And instead of facilitating the narratives that would make Robert Kelly look guilty through making it seem like he's barking these orders through these janky ass individuals, common sense should tell you to separate him from the bullshit that I've pointed out, including the involvement with these individuals in this docu-series. Anybody with common sense would know who would be going back and forth on the internet with anybody you suspected to be an informant, unless you're deliberately trying to stir the pot. Now, just like people wanted to keep running to me talking about their personal problems with bloggers, I witnessed these individuals doing the same thing to these defense attorneys. Many want to skip around the fact that certain individuals come out here talking about how they were being targeted because they were supporting Robert Kelly. And they left out the fact that they were stirring the pot, engaging with janky ass individuals, which put them in the line of fire. So what they did was try to include me. And that's how I ended up with Larry's information, because as they were going back and forth with him on social media, they thought that. I would just take the information they're providing me and just run out here and start attacking this man without first observing what's really going on. And once I realized that all these individuals in total are distractions, I decided to keep my focus on the individuals in the background that I believe you should focus on. So then when I see this same individual who they claim to be an informant, even though he clearly does not know Robert Kelly, talk about all this information that he confirmed, it became very clear to me that yet again, he was only reading the information provided by the prosecutors. So with that being said, all these janky mofos that were doing all this stuff publicly on these platforms would like you to believe that this man is an informant because he did this, this, and that. But they don't want to take accountability that if they weren't out here doing specific things, what the fuck could he inform anybody about? Make it make sense.
If they are doing things like harassing him, harassing these witnesses, harassing the defense, harassing anybody that speaks on the topic, they don't say what they want to say. It should be clear how individuals can paint this narrative that R. Kelly supporters are just out here batshit crazy when, as I told you, there was no need to involve yourselves in a federal investigation just to keep the information that can be readily identified and verified in the public forefront. Now to conclude this video, it's real cute that Larry is trying to team up with Tim Savage now and act like he was so dumbfounded finding out these conversations between the Clarys. But let me remind you that these same text messages I saw on Instagram that were being put out there by people like Ashy McGee. So I'm not going to buy that bullshit Larry is speaking on when those are the key points that I point out as to why this janky ass evidence should never have been on social media but these people were so anxious involving themselves trying to push these stories regardless of how janky they sound they didn't give a damn that all the things they were doing were going to be grounds to get this man a new trial regardless how they feel about it with that being said to sit over here and imply these attorneys were coercing and trying to entrap Asriel, what the fuck does that say when her own pappy got on these platforms talking about his invested share in this docu-series? Make it make sense. 